Alrighty, so in this video, we are going to talk about how to build our animated open for our podcast. So we're going to start just like we did with our lower third, and we're going to first build it inside of Photoshop. So you can see right now on screen, I have a slate built, and this is what I want my animated open to look like once it has animated on screen. Now, the important thing to remember here is to make sure that anything that you want to be able to animate is its own layer. So if we go over to our layers tab, you can see that the word one is its own layer, that the word ready is its own layer, that the word Kent State University is its own layer, the stars are its own layer, this line is its own layer, camera is its own layer, this actual image of a camera is its own layer, and the background is its own layer, and these little gold boxes are their own layer as well. With all that being said, quick little side note, any image, graphic, clip art that you use for this class you need to have the rights for so it needs to be royalty free all right with that being out of the way the next thing once you have your graphic built here for your animated open you need to go to file save save it as a photoshop document you also probably want to make sure that everything is named very neatly in your layers and organized kind of like from the background up that way when you're animating inside a premiere you will have no issue now we're ready to open a premiere and start animating the first thing we need to do is go to new project once we're inside of new project we're going to give the project a name so we're going to call it open o p e N, and then we're going to select the Photoshop document that we created. So right here, you can see here's my animated open file. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click create. Now, this is the most important part of this whole import process. This dialog box comes up and it says import as we want to make sure that we say import as a sequence and then we're going to click OK. And now you can see right here in our timeline that it has imported our Photoshop file. Now, before we go any farther, everybody might have a different layout and your panel windows might be all over the place. To make it easy, come up here and click on Essentials. That way we all can be kind of looking at the same layout for Premiere. So we got these little pink blocks down here and we got this green block this green block is the most important block that is our sequence that we are going to animate these pink blocks are just our individual layers that we created inside of photoshop so what we can do is just left click drag out a rectangle highlight the pink boxes and then click delete click on your green block drag it all the way back to the beginning of your timeline put your playhead on it and then this is where the magic happens if i double click on this green box it opens up the sequence inside of the sequence you can see nested here are all of the individual layers stacked just like we had them inside of photoshop all right so this is where we want to work smart not hard we want to make the software we want to make premiere do all the heavy lifting for us so what we want to do is where our playhead is right here we know that this is where we want our animation to stop so everything on this side looks exactly how it is on the canvas right now and everything on this side is where all of our animation will occur so we want to load in keyframes on all of these layers that say everything stay in this position so this is our last keyframe that will occur so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the background layer and when we choose the background layer we're going to see the effects controller and here we can see we have some options so we have motion we have rotation, we have opacity, but there's one very important thing missing from here, and that is crop. Crop is important when we're animating because we can leverage crop to make things kind of pop on and off screen and create some pretty uh, dynamic animations, making things move in different directions. So to be able to get the crop option, we're gonna go over to where it says effect right here. 
video effects click on video effects then we're going to go to transform and inside of transform we will see crop we're going to drag that down to our background layer now we could grab the crop and drag it to every layer that seems like a lot of work why would we want to do that when the software will do this for us but before we apply that to every layer there's a couple things we need to do first before we copy that to all of our layers so we're going to go up to our effects controls and we're going to start laying in our keyframe on our background layer so what we want to do is we want to keyframe everything we think we'll need for every layer so i'm probably going to use my position i'm probably going to use my scale i'm probably going to use my rotation I'm probably going to use my opacity. I'm probably going to use my crop left, my crop top, my crop right, and my crop bottom. So when I click on these little clocks here, that is setting a keyframe. So effectively, we've now laid all of our keyframes on our background layer right here. That's awesome. But now we need all of this information to apply to all of these other layers. So how do we do that? we're going to make sure that we're on our background layer by making sure that this little white rectangle is there we're going to right click on it and we're going to be like copy then we're going to scroll up we're going to click in the dark space we're going to drag out by left clicking a rectangle select everything but our background layer right click again and we're going to go to paste attributes the at paste attributes window will open we're going to paste scale motion opacity effects and we want to make sure the crop is there and we click ok all right now that we have all of the attributes copied to all of the layers we can go in here and we can verify so if i click on one of these layers i can see that i have keyframe set if i want to make sure that there's a keyframe we'll look at these little blue circles right here and you'll notice if i use my right and left arrow keys if I move left there is no blue circle anymore it turns white meaning there's no keyframe there if I move right by using my right arrow key you'll see it turns blue indicating that there is a keyframe there we'll also see that the crop effect has been copied and we can check all of our layers to make sure that information is there just by clicking on them now when we want to select a layer to animate we want to make sure say we want the background layer we're going to come down here click on the background layer and we want to make sure that this white rectangle is around it that is indicating that that is the selected layer and that is the layer we are working on all right there are a couple essential things you need to know about animation before we start animating the first thing is wherever this playhead is is where you are laying down your keyframe so if you forget to move this playhead then you are putting the keyframe in the wrong position so always make sure you move your playhead to the first frame that you want your animation to start so if i want my animation to start here i move my playhead there and that is where i'm laying down my first keyframe next thing you need to make sure is that you are on the layer you want to animate so if i want to animate the lines these lines right here i'm going to come up and i'm going to click on it and i'm going to make sure that this white rectangle is around it if i want to verify that i'm on the line layer i turn on and off this little eyeball right here and that will let me see visually what layer i am on next what you need to know is that you don't need to come over and manually put in your keyframes anymore since we set the end keyframe first over here premiere will now automatically lay in our keyframe so let me demonstrate that to you so if i want to animate my background i'll come over here i'll click on my background i'll make sure my playhead is moved all the way to my first frame and this is my first frame where i wanted to animate i'm going to go up to position and I'm going to adjust my position and let's say we want the uh, background to come up or we'll click right here and we will have it come up so we're gonna drop it down and we'll drop it right off the frame just like that you'll notice that it set a keyframe automatically for me right here 
And now if I click the play button, you will see my background animate on. Boop, just like that. So that is how easy it is to actually animate inside of Premiere. Now, let's talk about another thing that you need to be aware of. If I want, let's say, one just to pop on, I can easily just come to the beginning of the clip and just drag my in point to where I want it to come on. So now there's no footage. Here's where the footage starts. And now if I click play, boom, you'll see the one now just pops on. The other thing that's important is say that you were going to animate, let's say, the camera. So the camera, we're going to animate. So we're going to select the camera, and we want the camera to start animating at this point right here. Now, I don't want the camera to be visible on screen until this point. So I'm going to make sure that I drag my endpoint on my layer to right there. And now I can verify that by using my arrow key. So if I click my left arrow key, it will move one frame back. So I can see there's no footage there. If I click my right arrow key, I now move to the first frame where my footage is. My playhead's in the right position, and now I know I can start animating. So let's say we want this to be a little more complex of an animation. So we're going to do some rotation. We'll make it rotate a little bit, like so. And then we'll move the position, and we'll make it go up off screen like that. And now if I go to the beginning, just move my playhead back, and I click play, you'll see it swings in like so. So that's how you can do a little bit more of an advanced animation. Now I will tell you, be careful because sometimes when you start tying a lot of different values together over here in the effects controls, uh, it can start looking kind of corny pretty quick. So animate with moderation. So the last thing I want to talk about is the crop effect. This set of controls right here. Now this can let us do some pretty dynamic animation. So, so with something like position up here, we can only move in one direction, up, down, right, or left. With the crop effect, we can move in all four directions at one time. So we can move up, down, right, and left simultaneously. This allows us to create some pretty crazy looking animation. Now let me demonstrate exactly how this would be done. So I want to make sure I'm on my right layer. I already have my endpoint moved. I have my playhead set. I can check that by using my arrow keys. I can move to the left. See that it, that goes off so there's no video there. Right there. That's where my video starts. So that's where I want to lay down my first keyframe. So what I want to do is manipulate the left and the right because I want the graphics so it looks like it's moving to the right and to the left simultaneously. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the numbers and I'm going to type in the value 50%. So that's going to crop it literally to right here. So when I click enter, boom, you see the crop happen. And then I go on the right side and I click 50%. That's going to crop it out the other half. Perfect. So now, if I use my arrow keys and I move to the right, we can see that I have this really dynamic effect happening. All right, so before we take a look at the final animation, we're going to go to Export. We're going to go to Format. Make sure that we're on Apple ProRes. Make sure that we choose Video Codec Apple ProRes 422. And then click our Export tab. We will export out our video clip and then we'll take a look at it. So you can see it's very easy to build an animated opening inside of Premiere. Just to recap, the first thing you're going to do is go into Photoshop. You're going to build your template how you want it to look. Then you bring that Photoshop file into Premiere. Do all of your animation inside of Premiere. Then of course export it and then bring that video in on a thumb drive or submit it to me through Canvas. If you have any questions, you run into any issues, feel free, reach out, email me, call me, talk to me in class. I will be more than happy to work with you to help you figure out any problems that may come up 
while you're creating your animation or your lower third.